Hello, I'm Sue Shapcott and today I'm in Madison, Wisconsin. And in this video we're going to talk about the kinematic sequence. <laughs> Okay, so the kinematic sequence is simply put the order that things move in, the sequence that your body moves in during the golf swing. And when we talk about the kinematic sequence, then we're really focusing on the position from the top of the backswing to the downswing. Now, of course, I'm not saying that there isn't a sequence that you should get to the top of your backswing, and we'll go over that very briefly, but really the focus is on the sequence of movements from the top of the backswing down to impact and through to the to the finishing position. Okay, so if we just very quickly talk about the backswing, then a good sequence is for the hands and arms to start swinging as soon as they start swinging, then the hips start turning, the shoulders start turning too. Okay, so hands, arms, hips and shoulders. Okay, now once you've got up to the top of the backswing, this is what's probably more important. And the way that you should start the downswing is from the ground up. So you can see here how my lower body is driving. It's shifting to the left. Okay, my upper body is staying back. And my upper body is lagging behind my lower body. Okay, so I am starting my downswing feet, legs, hips, as, as they're moving, my arms are starting to come down and my shoulders are just hanging back. So the biggest mistake that I see is when people start their sequence from the top of the swing down. So if you start your kinematic sequence, if you start your downswing, with the shoulders instead of the lower body, then what that means is that you're gonna have a steep downswing, an over the top downswing where you can chunk the ball, you can top it, you can hit some slices, you're not gonna be able to maximize your power. And it's very intuitive to start your downswing with your upper body, but we've gotta get you feeling that your downswing is initiated and starts with the lower body and the upper body, the hands and arms and shoulders lag behind. If you do that, then it's going to enable you to swing on a more of an into out swing path. Um, that's what many golfers are trying to do. And it's going to really help you maximize your club head speed because by starting with the lower body, and keeping the upper body back, you're getting some separation, which means that when the club head and the hands and arms do swing past you and catch up, then you're gonna have a, a faster club head speed. You're gonna get a, a whipping effect, a release of the club head, and that's what's gonna give you your optimal club head speed. If you start your downswing with the upper body instead of the lower body, not only are you gonna have swing path and swing plane issues, but you're not going to be able to maximize your club head speed. You're only going to be able to generate as much speed as your, as your upper body can give you. Whereas if you start with the lower body, then you're storing up energy. If you start with the lower body, you're storing up energy with the upper body so that these hands and arms can end up um, swinging past you and increasing your club head speed. So kinematic sequence is a really um, fun thing to work on in the range. Um, usually the changes are pretty subtle. Um, and what your focus really needs to be on is just imagining that for a millisecond, then you're gonna initiate your downswing with the feet and the legs and the hips instead of your shoulders. Okay, so just imagining that you're initiating that downswing from the ground up. Okay, um, give that a go at the range. Be aware of what's moving first on your downswing. If you want to give it a fancy name, you can give, call it your kinematic sequence. I hope that gives you some food for thought. Um, please check out some of our other videos that will help you improve your technique, your short game, 
or your practice strategies and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you.